the word of god is alive and powerful sharper than any two edged sword piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow and it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart all scripture is god breathed and is profitable for doctrine for reproof for correction for instruction in righteousness that the man of god might be mature thoroughly furnished unto all good works study to show thyself a prudent to god a workman that need not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth or accurately handling the word of truth the great lesson that we can learn in 1 john 3:8 to this end the son of god has been manifested that he might undo the works of the devil the word undo is an expression that has entered the computer world if we make a mistake we are not stuck for we can click the undo button and can start again the essential idea of undo is to erase dismantle negate or neutralize this is exactly what the son of god our lord and savior jesus christ has done to the devil and all his works Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ has led captivity captive Ephesians 4:8 and has spoiled principalities and authorities and has made a show of them publicly in Colossians 2:15 where with the passage tells we do valiantly triumph with our Lord by blotting out the transgressions of the whole sin nature The word spoil here means to strip off or expose In ancient times this is exactly what victorious generals did to the armies of their conquered foe they would strip them off their weaponry and clothing to shame shame them and show their mastery over them but some may wonder how it can be that if the son of god came to destroy the works of the devil and he still appears to be the very much active now present world the answer to that is satan has been judged de jure legally at the cross john 16:11 but his sentence has not yet been carried out de facto in fact the scripture clearly states and shows that he is still in the heavenly ephesians 6:11 through 12 this present world is still under his sway 1 john 5:19 ephesians 2:2 2 corinthians 4:4 but his power has been annulled over the believer hebrews 2:14 he will be bound at the lord's coming revelation 21 to 3 after 1000 years he will be cast into the lake of fire revelation 20:10 and just as a criminal on death row is waiting for his sentence to be carried out so the devil is destined for eternal torment in the lake of fire our lord and savior jesus christ has crushed the head of the serpent genesis 3:15 and what a day it will be when satan's work shall be undone and he will deceive the nations no more revelation 23 the whole universe will then own the lord jesus as the victor and will bow the knee of everyone and confess that our lord and savior jesus christ is the only true lord philippians 2:10 through 11 now you can undo the things of the devil as a believer in christ the luminaries of our lord when you've been walking in the fellowship of lord get the holy spirit every day any test you come you submit in by getting every thought into captivity for christ through his word and that get the holy spirit knows how to do the how to undo the devil's work in your life in your own sin nature there can never be any other thing than to grow up in the knowledge of bible doctrine you can perfectly undo the works of devil not only leaving behind a legendary impact on this earth even in the world to come so which way you want to go you decide we shall continue in the next tape Father, I am grateful for the privilege that I was given to fellowship with you through the Word. We pray that Lord God, the Holy Spirit, will enlighten us in these things and make it a source of blessing and challenge, Sovereign Lord. For we ask it in Christ's name, Father. Amen.